has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Pratt County and Eastern Triola County in South Central Kansas until 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing quarter-size hail and damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This storm was located near Croft, moving north-northeast at 30 miles per hour. Well, we got a debris cloud to the right, 1 o'clock. Well, maybe RFD. This may be a debris cloud. I think maybe also, but it was anticyclonic. Remember, severe thunderstorms can produce tornadoes with little or no advance warning. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch for a portion of the WNG 534 listening area until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties, Papa, Comanche, Edwards, Kiowa, Pratt, and Stafford. You are listening to NOAA Weather Station WNG 534. We are broadcasting from the National Weather Service in Dodge City. This weather radio furniture. If no basement is available, seek shelter on the lowest floor of the building in an interior hallway or room such as a closet. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and always stay I see the funnel foreman. If in mobile homes or vehicles, evacuate them and get inside a substantial shelter. If no shelter is available, lie flat in the nearest ditch or other low spot and cover your head with your hands. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time Wednesday evening for southwestern Kansas. A severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect until midnight Central Daylight Time Thursday morning for southwestern Kansas. Right. The National Weather Service in Dodge City has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Pratt County and Eastern Triola County in south central Kansas until 7.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 6.40 p.m. Central Daylight Time, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing quarter-size hail and damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This storm was located near Croft, moving north-northeast at 30 miles per hour. Hey, yo, score. Yeah, it's probably an F0, F1. How long will it stay on the ground like that? Uh, there's no telling. Really? It could disappear in a heartbeat or it could stay down for another 30 minutes. You just, no way to tell.
above the trees. Yeah. You can even see the movement in the cloud above it. Yeah, the meso's changing on this. No, that's right where it should be. This is the anticyclonic portion, and that's the back edge where the wall cloud should be. Look Winter. at the rotation back in there. That thing could put down a significant tornado. What's our next option to go uh, north? Uh, well, it's definitely got a, a nice debris cloud. I don't either, and it's coming right at us. You still got a tornado over there, Alan. I, c I can see the funnel up above from my position. I can see the debris on the ground, just, just off to the uh, right. 10 4, I see it too. And I see new scud rocketing up straight to our left. Well, we may want to stop here. <laughs> <laughs> Beat you to it. That's where the debris was. You can still see it with the naked eye, but the camera just can't quite see it. I think so too. Of course, uh, we're getting pretty close to precip now. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. Again. Oh, there's a big tornado over there. I'm just worried about getting caught on a letter. Uh, highway 2 is coming up. Tornado sirens are going. Ten four north to Harper. Anthony, tornado sirens going off. We have a, a quarter mile wide tornado straight in front of us. You can see the debris cloud before we turn left. Well, I see a, I see a giant debris cloud. We got a new wall cloud forming straight to our left. Yeah, I don't plan to spend too much time in here. I think we're getting close to the bear's cage. Yeah, look at the upper left edge of the cloud right here, the wall cloud. It's just laminar big time. Okay, we got to be real careful here. Um, I'm going to suggest we pull over. Well, we might want to go a little bit further forward because there's a wall cloud to the left on the other side of these trees we need to keep an eye on. 
Yeah, I don't. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, just maybe a hundred yards is what I'm talking about. Wrap around or something here, Alan, right in front of us. I see it. Big cone right in front of us, just to the right of the road. You see it? Big cone. Get a shot. You. I'm the headlights behind you with the flashers on. I think people are getting the hell out of here real quick. Don't blame them. <laughs> I hope no one was down the road there. That may have lost our first chasers if that was the case. Well, there's no doubt these storms rotate. Tornadoes all over the place. In fact, I better pull over and look at the lightning. Suspicious right there. At 8.52, a uh, golf ball sized tail was reported two miles south of Newton with this storm. Uh, this storm looks to be moving kind of to the east and northeast to me at this point in time, although uh, the potential strong winds on the leading edge of the storm in southeastern portions of Marion County. Uh, south and to the east of Newton has produced golf ball sized hail uh, within the last uh, oh, 15 minutes or so golf ball sized hail was reported. Tornado. Yeah, very obvious. Warren, this is Alan. I can't believe I got through. There's another tornado on the ground uh, northwest of Anthony, moving northeast. I'm getting video of it. Very obvious in the lightning flashes. Yeah, that's uh, and this is a, at least. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy. And this is a new storm that built up behind the main one. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I have quite a bit of damage there in Attica, around Attica. I've been hearing something like that. They, they built the one house about, oh, I guess they finished it about a month ago, and it's gone. I had a, 